Hi everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War. Here we are, 1805, late November, with the Prussians. Right, we've had a bit of a skirmish round Breslau, and um, we managed to defeat the Austrian armies there, and we obviously pushed them back into the mountains here. The Austrian army that was also attacking uh, Dresden, we've managed to clear, and the army has moved um, to support um, near Breslau. Uh, there is another small um, Austrian army under the command of Hans Wolf uh, building just outside Prague so yeah maybe we can go and put some uh, pain onto the uh, the Austrian Empire after they attacked us uh, we've still got our Russian fellows causing a little bit of grief down here on our eastern flank but um, we've got um, the remnants of a, an army <laughs> yeah, the makings of an army, I suppose you could say. Um, just sort of holding Konigsberg there and in Warsaw here. Uh, we've got the yeah the tiny beginnings of an, an army which could hopefully merge and defend the eastern flank. Plus, obviously, you've got the, the two armies here. The army of uh, Prince Louis Ferdinand. And we've also got Gebhard von Blücher. Blücher? I was... I was told that the CH is a K, so it's Blücher, um, who is, uh, well, he's in pursuit of this, um, Raphael May's rem ragtail, ragtail? Remnants of an army, should I say. Right, anyway, uh, so that's all looking good. We've spent the money for this, this month anyway. Uh, we've got Castle here, which is a protectorate, um, so they are nothing to fear, um, keep an eye on them, and we've also got uh, an army being built here in Cleves, uh, which we can use hopefully to push on and knock um, the B B Batavarian Republic out of it. The Dutch. <laughs> yes, pronunciation is struggling early morning. Um, but yeah, we got this little French um, region here, Hanover. Um, and what we don't want to do is upset the French by taking that. But we do have uh, the Mucklenburg and we've also got the Oldenburg um, regions which we can potentially take without too much well the, the, probably the, the countries around us won't like us expanding they never do but um, yeah they are potential uh, threats but yeah I would really like to go and uh, storm in here and take Amsterdam that would, pro that would probably kill that region off because um, I don't think they've got anything else and I think this is probably their entire force that their port of Rotterdam is being uh, besieged by the British Navy um, so they are kind of stuck they've got a huge army out here on the bridge to the uh, region or the Flanders region so if we could obviously storm um, Amsterdam obviously this army would come to defend do we? hang on let's just not send an army to try and engage, but they have a lot of cannon and a lot of line infantry and militia as well. Uh, it would be good to get a spy that way. Um, I may pull out the spy from Oldenburg, although these are mostly militia, so yeah, I think that was going to be our next target, wasn't it? Yeah. What we might do is come up here and well, I've only got that little town there. It would be good if they had a little town on our border so we could raid it and put, drag the army out uh, so we can fight them one at a time, but um, that may not be possible. And in early December 1805, not much happened, to be honest. Um, what have we got? We've got a cannon foundry which has been completed in Breslau and some cobble roads in Cleves as well, which is good. And um, with the troops, units recruited, some musketeers in uh, Cilicia and uh, some Jaegers in Cleves as well. Nice. Right. Our ship is still sailing. I don't know why it's going around the Isle of Wight. It would be easier just to go through the channel. Uh, but they're sailing down here. They're going to make it. That's um, that's the ivory. No, okay. That's still as far as they will um, plan ahead. I thought we might get another move out of it. But no, that's fine. So they're moving on. Um, we do have... Actually, I missed this last time. We've got um, Liberec. 
uh, Landau, who's uh, our spy in uh, Rotterdam. That's right, I was going to move him from Oldenburg, but um, yes, he couldn't get in Amsterdam last time because it was, uh, it was a little bit too trying, wasn't it? Should we try again? It's 57%. Hmm. What about getting to the Dutch army? 50%. Oh, God. No, I don't like the odds there. Sabotage, 66% to damage the port. But that would be us declaring war, wouldn't it? If they found out. And we're not yet at war with them, I don't think. Um, no, they're indifferent. So I don't want to trigger anything before we actually want to you know, go full in and, um, and commit. Yeah, there's no point having just picking fights when you don't really want to follow through. Um, our indifference with France is now minus four. We are almost friends. Or, you know, send Christmas cards to each other, maybe. But, um, yeah. Um, reading the comments, there was a good point that if we do side with France, then there'll be a lot of our trade will be impacted. Which is a very good point, and without that, our empire could crumble pretty quick. Um, speaking of which, we've got 3,270, sorry, 47 gold in the bank. Um, so I'd like to start repairing places, but we've still got some jobs to do. Let's try and tidy up Raphael May's army. No, you're still running. We've got nowhere to run, sunshine. Right, so there's um, Gerhard with his 802 troops versus 292 troops of Raphael May. He's just a captain by the looks of it. So they got a couple of cavalry units and three units of fusiliers. Okay, here we go then. Right, we've got this troops out here. Um, I'm going to have them in the woods forming some annoyance about the enemy coming. Um, we're, we're kind of in a valley, which is slightly annoying. Our guns are not going to get them. we we'll split the guns, and actually, I think they've all shifted to this side, so, yeah, well, typical. We haven't really got the, um, the area to put the, uh, the troops where we wanted them, but, um, Hey ho, we'll uh, live with what we got. Um, as you see, they're getting some fire from the cannons. Cavalry's over there, right. Well, I don't want those them to get shot in the side, so. Um, let's move them over here. Bring one of the units of. Cavalry round the back. So I think these are going to be uh, underused over there. Splitting my troops up like that wasn't the best of ideas, but the landscape was terrible. Right, you come back here actually. Uh, we're not going to get an opportunity to uh, fire on them, and <laughs> the cannons were getting a little bit too close. So I'd rather you come back and play it safe. Right, let's switch to canister shot as they're coming over the hill. Or over the wall. Is soon to be right, yours. let's get you marched out over there. Right, the lances are running. Where are the lances going? Are they going for these guys? No, they're coming back. Okay. Right, let's give them a, a charge with the cavalry. Oh my god, why are you still... Move a little bit quicker, please! Oh my god. I'm gonna get shot by your own men, just dawdling. 
Right. Continue. Right. All cannons stop. Cavalry, start charging them down. goes the cavalry. Hopefully we can um, finish them off pretty quickly. That was a bit of a bit of a, a messy way to try and finish these troops off, but um, well, we're going to get the result we wanted in the end. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! And there we are, victory. Um, we lost 52 during that conflict. Um, obviously 39 killed, so yeah, 13 were um, friendly fired. Um, but that is the end of that pesky Austrian army. So the enemy army of Raphael withdraws to safety, but they're all dead anyway, so that's fine. Uh, trait gained, steady under fire. For Gebhard, plus one to morale in battles. I say, those chaps over there mean to kill us. What absolute rotters. Shall we have at them? Ah. Oh. Right, um, can you make it back to town? Not quite. Okay, fine. Right, I think now's ready to get this gunsmith rebuilt. Um, and ready to go. We've got the army here. Now, where do we want to so he's still recuperating to a certain degree, but do we want to come round and um, ooh, are they going to try and come through the woods again? Hmm. So we've got the armies marching around here. I might just put a, next to this bridge for the moment. You can wait there. Um, to see what the uh, the Austrian armies do, and then we can uh, move accordingly. Um, right, what are we going to look at? Let's just have a quick check on our towns. We've got the spy in Oldenburg, we've got the spy in the port of Rotterdam. In Cleves, uh, how is the general populace? Oh. Uh, people in government. Um not happy with, industrialization not happy with, religious unrest not happy with, tax burden not happy with, we've got a small garrison but they seem relatively happy so things are still flowing as it were. Um, is it a case of we need a couple more, let's get another unit of militia just to kind of hold the place together. Drill school in, um, well we could make it in eight turns. How are we doing uh, study-wise? Well, we're doing the uh, researching the the diamond formation. Is that what we wanted? No, they were supposed to be researching um, mass mobilization. Oh, we've got mass mobilization. Ah, fantastic. Okay, so they've. Oh, okay. What's happened? And they've auto clicked over to that, haven't they? What else could they be researching? Army Corps organization. Minus five upkeep to cost of armies. That would be really useful. Logistics. Plus two percent to replenishment rates. Really useful. Plus five percent army campaign movement range. Really useful. Uh, top gallants. Uh, plus ten increase to speed in battle for ships with top gallants. Uh, ten percent increased movement range in campaign. That's also really good. Um, they are six turns. Let's get the replenishment rate. Let's get them researching that. Because that's going to be super huge. And then we'll get the um, the cheaper, you know, running the army on, on the cheap would be good as well. That's not ours. We've um, got a protector on that. Right. Berlin. Okay. Everything seems to be under control here. Um, town wealth. We've got industrialization, mining, subsistence, agriculture. All looking okay. Um, we've got a drill school being built. Should be ready in seven turns, which is good. 
Court of Justice, what we need, public schooling. Is that what we're waiting for? We've got public schooling, so that's literally, we don't have the money. Okay. That's the, always the other thing, isn't it? Ordnance Factory, that will give us enable uh, six pound of foot artillery, Landvert Militia, and six pound of horse artillery. Okay, we could get a Opera House, which will bring in plus two happiness for all classes, plus eight per turn wealth in the region, and recruitment capacity one enhances national prestige, that's 1500. We could build a, a monument or a star fort, but I'll hold off those at the moment. Infrastructure wise, we could get some cobble roads. That'll bring in eight uh, wealth per turn, improve campaign speed, and plus three to replenishment rates in this region. That's really, uh, roads is such an important thing. Uh, the merchant house, again, we could do the merchant house. We've got currently a market which is plus 50 to town wealth and plus six per turn. Uh, a merchant house would be plus 100, plus 12 per turn town wealth, and plus one for wealth within all your regions. That is such a good one. I think we might go for that. Well, let's just have a look, see what else we need. Um, oh, great estates, food. So we could go from 200 regional wealth, plus the 3% to replenishment rate in this region, to minus 1% happiness for the lower classes, 400% uh, regional wealth, Sorry, plus 400 to regional wealth and plus 5% to replenishment rate in this region. Oh, that's also really good. Oh, look. you just want to buy everything, don't you? That's the problem. Um, in Pomerania, right, the people are slightly getting... They don't like the government. Tax burden's a bit much. They don't like the, the government type. Um, religious unrest is coming in. So if we if we were to build a magistrate, that would bring in 2% repression to the region, plus 10% bonus to tax wealth, recruitment capacity, and enables a research of what we've already got. But, so it'll double our repression. So that might be a way of, you know, rather than us having troops guaranteed in there, we can build up the, uh, sort of the local magistrate and law enforcement in the area to um, repress them but the rebel the rebel the lower classes look like they're gonna rebel so I'm actually gonna go for the magistrate. It's not it's not the super exciting one to get but it's probably one that will pay for itself in time. Uses thirteen hundred. Uh, yeah a lot of the um a lot of the upgrades have already gone out the window now haven't they? But um we've got roads being built there which is great. Um we could also get the magistrate here. How is that would be useful as well? But that would be everything. So Warsaw could use a magistrate. Um, down here in uh, Breslau. Uh, how is the town doing? Mm. On the edge, as they all seem to be. Uh, they've got dirt roads. Um, the drill school. Okay, they don't have. That's been repaired. Yes. We've got a merchant house. What's that? Banking house. Wow. That's awesome. Um, in Dresden, we've already got the magistrate there. Um, everything is looking a little bit tired. Uh, the, okay, the, um, the garrison's keeping that in a good space, though. So I reckon we go back to Warsaw and get the magistrate in place. Yeah, these are not exciting, exciting developments, but probably required. They've also got a barracks being built there as well. Cool. Right, that leaves us 16. 16 gold. That's all we've got. We've got our armies around Breslau. Keeping a watchful eye on whatever these Austrian armies are going to do. If they come through here, then we'll just have to react accordingly. But um, for the time being, the fires are being controlled. Not quite put out. Um... And it's just watch and see, see what the others react to. So in late December 1805, Dresden is being besieged once more. Uh, a spy network has been established by Emmanuel. Um, where's that? Where is he? He's in Oldenburg. Okay, cool. Lewis and Clark reach the Pacific Ocean. Ocean in view. Oh the joy, writes William Clark in his journal, over two years since leaving Pittsburgh. Clark and his partner, Merriweather, Lewis, and the 31 explorers of the Corpse to Discovery 
have finally crossed America and reached the Pacific Ocean on foot. After gaining permission for the expedition from President Jefferson Clark, uh, Jefferson Clark purchased a large quantity of pork, salt and medicines to feed the explorers on the journey. Along the way, the party met with the native tribes and generally maintained good relations with each of them. However, once reaching the Great Plains, the expedition encountered the, the, the Sioux tribes. The Sioux are progressively less peaceful the farther west you traveled, demanding tribute in return for safe passage and giving warnings about aggression from neighboring Sioux tribes. On more than one occasion, Lewis and Clark had to escape a potentially violent situation by sailing upriver. Following the, con uh, the construction of Fort Mandan in early 1805, the explorers found a native guide married to a French-Canadian fur trapper. Uh, I'm, yeah, uh, there's the name, who translated for the remainder of the journey. Her presence and that of her infant son also helped soften native perception of the expedition, which could otherwise be assumed hostile. Finally reaching the Pacific in December, the expedition camped for winter and prepared supplies for the return journey. So far, there has been just one casualty. An unpreventable death from acute appendicitis. Surely this expedition was meant to succeed by the divine providence. Oh, there we go. That's awesome. I love those little history nuggets thrown in there. Because um, mine, I must admit, my knowledge of the uh, the American history is pretty poor. It's pretty poor, I'll be honest. Um, we've got some militia in Cleves being dispatched and produced, which is great. Uh, so yeah, so I love these little nuggets of information, which you know, I know, you know, I know about the forefathers, a little bit about the forefathers, and you know, the Thanksgiving, the reasons for that, and then obviously this was the first uh, expedition across the um, across America. Then obviously later comes the the Oregon trails when they're those you know, the migrants from Europe are then going to the west to Oregon and Portland and area areas like that to settle. I know a bit about it, but not not terribly much. So I do like these little nuggets of information, which kind of just enrich um, the time period a little bit. Right, so here we are. We've got um, an army here. What have we got? We've got oh, not a lot. Let's march. Let's march our army back down here. They can hold out for a couple more turns, I think, while the prince gets there. Blücher. Um Yeah, what have we got in the town? Yeah, okay. You you pop into the town. Let's get those troops um recuperated. I don't want to move him over there as well, just in case the forces here then come around. So we need to keep a, a presence on this this uh, part of the uh, the border as well. Um what do we have army wise? We've got three cavalry, three guns five foot yeah maybe maybe some more um, foot soldiers ordnance factory mm, we'll hold off for that for the moment uh, but now we've got 2,000 we can potentially get one of those um, market houses uh, we can get a musket manufactory that's 1,800 We've currently got the gunsmith there, which is minus one happy to the lower classes. Minus 3% recruitment cost to the infantry in this region, which is good. Uh, this would be minus 6% cost for the infantry, uh, but minus 2 happiness to the lower classes. Recruitment capacity, units remain in training 1. Okay. 1800. I'll hold off. I think, well, we're going to have to rebuild Dresden a bit, but I think, where was it? Here. Let's get the merchant house built. That's most of our cash gone. So we've got the army coming in there. Um, we could send the army from here, but I don't know what force they've got there. So I'll hold off for the time being. Um, no other movement from the French over here. Uh, Britain is still bombarding and blockading the port, which is grand. Is there? 
It seems you know, there's going to have a lot of um, armed citizens there, but not much. There's obviously a decent force there, but they must be hemorrhaging money at the moment. Let's have a look. What, what are they saying, Bavarian Republic? Let's go and have a chat with them, shall we? Uh, wealth is moderate. Okay, so they're still getting money in somewhere. Uh, they've got allies in Spain and France. Trade partners in Spain, France, Oldenburg and Mutlenburg. Um, we're not yet among their enemies, but we could soon well be. Um, yeah, I've got nothing to say to you. I just wanted to check on your finances. That's all it was. So, yeah, if we can knock them out, that should be... Delanga, France and Spain, of course, um, who are both indifferent to us. France, but only minus one now. But uh, and we, oh, we, do, we are trading with France. So that could be a uh, a financial penalty for hitting the um, the Dutch, but it may be worth it to get Rotterdam and get the opportunity for more trade ports. Yeah, we will see. We will see. I think after this attack on Dresden, we will definitely need to. Um, well, look, they built a big army up there. They, yeah. I think that's a distraction force, and then they're going to come around to Breslau. Or maybe up to Warsaw. But at least we should have time, to, at least one turn to react if they go for Warsaw. Um, so yes, keeping the army there. Try and knock this one out, and then I think we're going to actually have a run at um, Prague. Just to, if nothing else, put them on the back foot for once. Oh, and the battle for Dresden! is on. They are pushing by the looks of it. You're defending against a force of Austrian attackers. We have 1,435. Um, only two real decent units in there of musketry, infantry. Uh, we've got some militia and lots of citizens with guns against uh, German fusiliers, fusiliers um, militia, fusiliers, line infantry, um, Hungarian fusiliers, two six pounders, some um, cavalry, and some hussars as well. Oh dear. Okay, let's start the battle. Um, we've got some defences being set up, right? Let's bring those troops out there. I'll bring you back here. In fact, you, oh, actually, you. You man that house there. Let's try and occupy some of these buildings. Now, we don't know where the forces there they are, they're coming from. Now, it's the cavalry I've been warned about. So, I've put a lot of um, fence out so we can kind of defend this area as the kind of like the, the full back line. Let's get that ready. Right, we've got some forces on that flank as well. Um, musketeers. You're out here. Where did, I, where did I put you? Okay, you. So I'll put you on this side. We've got the line of troops there, which we may not necessarily need. Alright, if I could ask you to get a bit of a jog on, same with you guys. As the cavalry is moving in quick. Alright, you hold there. We have taken the building, sir. And they've got them moving around there. Okay. Um come back here. These guys have got nothing to defend against cavalry, you see. Square. You guys uh, try and defend that as best you can. Right, here we go. Give them fire. Cavalry's moving back, okay? Right, the 
cavalry is attacking that square. We're getting some fire from these guys. The armed citizens are not up as much. There's the other cavalry that way. Meantime, the rest of the forces are marching through the town. Reform the square, yeah. Keep the fort square nice and tight. That's it, boys. Well done. Well done. Excellent. Here comes the troops, so um, form line. Now I've got all these troops over here, which are just armed citizens and not much. I want them to come over here once they try and snuffle this and maybe get those. Those cavalry are gone. Where's the other cavalry? It's back there. It's hiding in the woods. Okay. Right, now that that's come out, you shall come form the line again. You come join the from the line again. I know there's a cavalry out there. I'm aware of it. Well, we've got our two good units of um, units here. So can you march back into the town square? I'll replace it with you there. And you two can come close over here. And you. March back into the town square. They're forming up here. Where's their guns? They're, they're probably getting their guns. They are getting their guns. Not in a brilliant position. Did they just have, did they just have the one gun? I can't remember. Um, let's bring you over here as well. So we got the ability to form the square and um, put some good uh, rate of fire down. Let's get you in that gap there if you can somehow. Without going squiffy. Oh, they could be coming. I've seen our our troops moving. Oh, we going? I'm struggling to get between the buildings. Because obviously these got very little defence against the. Uh... Cavalry is coming. Form the square there. You've got a few guys move over here quick. Make the room. Okay. It's not ideal. It was a hastily made defence. You hide behind your little wicker fence, that, or your spiky fence, that should do the job. Um, they're all okay. Armed citizens, you get into there, please. Right, there. What are they planning? Yeah, they're not probably versed in street just uh, house-to-house -house fighting like ours. Well, we're not either. They're better armed troops versus our troops. Um, I'm half tempted. They're moving their cavalry around. I want to get some. Right, I want you guys to come up here. Put some fire on them there. Right, where's this unit? Let's get them in the fight. Let's get them back here. And then we'll get these guys to fall back.
Sacrificial lambs, perhaps. Oh, I was just about to pull him back. Here comes the cavalry. Alright. Turn around, boys. They're behind you. Get in here. They're fighting the boys in the in the actual buildings there. Right. They got they got around us, this is not good. Um Our men are running sir. Engage them. Oh god, right. Just here. Charge them. Oh my two, my two, um, oh my, oh, we're done. My two main units have just run. What can we do with the armed citizens? Well, let's try and do as much damage as possible. Our men are running, sir. I know. Try and have some shots of their cavalry, try and get them, uh, dead and those guys are broken because they were left on their own. Are you shooting at the horse? There's more troops. Yeah. There's only two decent units. <laughs> oh, I thought we could put up a better fight than this. There goes our, our captain. But it wasn't meant to be. Our men are running, sir. Oh, thankfully we got some of their cavalry on the picket fence. I say picket, it's a spiky fence. Defend this area the best you can. Um, I think we've got what? Troops in there left. Oh, they've they've um Ah, they've they've um they've recovered. Our men are running, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Good men. They're, I don't think that their their um their courage is going to last much longer. Keep fighting. You've got the higher ground. Meanwhile, things are looking a little bit um rubbish in here. All right, but we've got the army coming. Oh. They've, ah, brilliant! You've got those guys running. Brilliant. Um, there's just huge number of units still to kill. 
Right. Uh, march over here. I don't want to go down into the dip because they'll have the high ground. Oh, look at the carnage. How's... We still, we still got no. We still had troops in there. No, they're all dead. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Right, so we've just got. Oh, hello. No, are they coming back? Right, you get your boys lined up there, and then we get these guys. Out there. I know you don't want to, but jog into position quick. Oh, who's these? Austrian. Oh, watch out. Hang on. Change of plan. Yeah, they're going to get cut down before they even go. Yeah. Yep, there they go. They're broken again. There, don't blame them. Don't blame you boys, to be fair. Um, so that leaves these guys and these guys. Well, they're dying pretty quick. We've got some more troops moving up here. Meanwhile... Oh, God, you know what? Another unit, we may have just been able to pull this one off, although they've got the guns over there, haven't they? Halt here! How are they doing? Under missile fire, routing! Well done, boys! Right, there's going to be plenty more plenty more coming uh, here they are <laughs> all hope is lost sir this battle is almost done I know it's almost done but hang on hang on we're, we're um yeah yeah we're dead I know the Austrian army move well unit moving in from there um, what is that? What's hidden in the woods? Ah, oh, some artillery. There was two guns. I thought there was. Right. Engage them. How many have we got in there? We've got 100 in the... Uh, 120 here. And they're going to have uh, troops moving in from over there as well. 119. Wow, okay. And 52. Right. Do we can we reposition to get right, you reposition over here. So if they want they'll have to come forward, bring them into the range of these guys. Or well, maybe we can concentrate on these fifty-two. Right, there yet they are in range now. When you're ready. Die, yeah. What have we got over there? German fusiliers, alright, oh, they're cutting us right down. Fusil oh, German fusiliers, okay. We've got two very good troops units against our um, armed citizens. This is not going to go the way we hope it will. Um, we'll take a few more of them with us, though, before these guys waver. This corner has been absolutely cut down. Charge around there. These ones are at least tired. We can maybe try and make them temporarily break. And then we can engage them and they still get in some fire from the building. Fire into their flank. Yeah, 
other Austrian armies moving to that flank, yeah. It's only a matter of time now. Who will break first? Well, it's going to be us. Right, they're now engaging our line, which they'll obliterate pretty quick. They're going to take some flanking fire from the house. So let's try and whittle their numbers down for the inevitable counterattack attack which we're going to have to do. Get the guy with the flag. His brazenness while just walking over the uh, spike fence there. They're concerned about the casualties, so we got down to 85 now. These guys are down to 71. They must be wavering. Yes, they are. These guys in the building. I don't know. Shaken! Right, keep hitting them in the flank. We might actually get them to run. Come on, quickly. Load quicker. Where's the other unit gone? Where has the other unit gone? It's it's doing some manoeuvres out here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. They're wavering, boys. So are you, but keep going. Can we get you to just reform a little bit? Just try and spread them out, get a few more guns to the front of the line get behind them as well before that unit comes in. Give them a volley. 62. Uh, here comes the reinforcements. This is where it, the plan goes to pot. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Brilliant. They're the guys in the house. No, it's these guys, is it? Oh, we're pretty much out of ammo anyway. They're broken. Sir! They've, they've broken. Are you kidding me? Right, we've got two units of guns, which we've got to go and do hand to hand. But these guys will probably reform and come back. Unbelievable. Right, let's go march this way. Confident now. Look at that. Oh, look at us. We actually survived for the moment. I've got every confidence that these guys are going to come back, but um, let's try and wing, wiggle our way through the buildings, get in cover and try and take out the guns. And you never know, we might be able to achieve victory. I, leave your house. I know you don't want to, but come on. Will they not leave it now? Yes, they will. Okay, good. Our best bet is to try and strike while the iron's hot and get them before they can. They know what's happening. And if we can get everything running at once, then all's better. So we can engage these guys, and um, I want these ones to come this way. And we'll hit them hand-to-hand -hand with these ones. Not in the protection of our house anymore, which is a little bit worrying. Yes, sir. Right, you're gonna have to jog on a little bit. Because these can't stay in there. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. I know. Have they used their ammunition? Is that why they're not firing? No. No. Maybe? No. It's not the case. Oh, they've all used their ammunition now. Right. Hand to hand. All or nothing. Go 
on, get him from the back. Go on, just hold. 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 I think we got him. Brilliant. Well done, boys. Bloody brilliant. Um, let's... Onto the guns. Okay, here's the guns. Right. Charge. Good. The Austrian gunners are shaken. They come the, the other group. I tell you what, these if these boys hold this battle and swing it the tide in our favour and we win this, these boys are going to be drinking free for a year. Right, they're gone. Right, boys. Uh, where's the other ones? We've lost them. They're in the woods somewhere. There they are. Right, they're firing on us. Right, you go that way. Grab yourself into a block. You come down this street here. Hide behind that house. Get into the woods. A little bit of protection from that. Meanwhile, these guys are sneaking up through the town. Go on then. Yeah, go on. Come on, boys. Took a moment to catch their breath. Now who are they firing at? I think they're firing at these guys coming towards them, aren't they? They've got the protection of the buildings. Or well, maybe not there. That can will be able to get it. Oh, they're moving. Are they? Yes, they are. Charge. Everything you got, boys. One last push. Come on. They're steady. They're fresh. They're steady and active. Right. Come on, boys. Come on. You blooming heroes. Bludgeon them to death. Unbelievable. Somehow, victory. My goodness me. So, um, Balthazar von Sinzendorf um, attacked with uh, 846 troops against Eric uh, Kolrash. Rush? Rush? I don't know. Uh, with 1435. Most of our troops were uh, armed citizens. And mil uh, militia, only two units of um, musketeers we had. Um, they lost 679, we lost 937. Um, remaining 168, remaining 490, uh, 497. I can't believe we managed to hold. And after a deep breath, Early January 1806, a spy network has been um, created in Rotterdam. Excellent. Let's just go and see the heroes of Dresden. My goodness me, the, the remnants of that army is now tail between its legs, heading back to Prague. We've got our army on the march here. Yes, sir. I'm going to park them right there. But let's have a look at Dresden. Oh my goodness. The armed citizens are being given the day off, unsurprisingly. These guys are being um, <laughs> retrained and recouped. Let's get some more troops in here. Oh my goodness me. That was epic. We also need some cavalry, I think. Oh my goodness me. With the army now defending them, 
these are these armies can attack and she can defend our border and then we'll push on to attack Prague I think I think they've poked the bear enough haven't they um, that was a great defense really really surprised that we were able to hold that one I thought that was gone for sure uh, over in Warsaw we've got lots of things being created haven't we yes we've got a barracks uh, should be ready next time and a magistrate which will be ready in three turns who's this over here it's a Swedish gentleman having a wander around exploring the coastline fair enough okay um, in Berlin we've got a drill school being built and we don't have money for anything else and in Cleves which is one of the most important ones which is our outlier uh, how's our army looking our army is building up nicely um, probably need some more troops more cannon really but we don't have the option to get cannon here cavalry wise and let's get some militia because obviously when we leave we want to leave the militia in the town and that's all looking grand okay well I think we'll leave it there the success of the Dresden defensive uh, group cannot be understated that was an incredible backs against the wall effort we may well push on and try and kill the rest of that army next time and uh, yeah Prague is looking like the next target vindictive though it may be we need to push them further back even if Prague just becomes one of those regions which is forever changing hands and no one really gets any wealth or you know development from it maybe that this is going to be our buffer zone push them back to the river take um, old malts as well yeah. So you got the French, the French pushing through Stuttgart and uh, Munich here. So we can push them back over the river, back to Vienna and Budapest. What have they got out here? They've got oh, they've got the town out there. But yeah, that may be what we have to do: push them further back from our core of our uh, regions. Anyway, we'll do that next time. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you've. Uh, enjoyed this it's been no well that, that battle is going to probably be 90 percent of this video but um yeah a heroic defense of dresden for sure i'll see you next time bye bye